Why does everyone think that Shaman EX is so good? Its attacks only does 30 damage, and there are many cards that do more damage than that for less energy. Fair enough, you might draw one or two cards with its ability, but Tierno lets you draw three cards, and that's why Tierno is my favourite card. And with Ampharos Manectric being so good at the minute, it will just kill it in one. I thought I had a minute ago. If Zora Outbreak were to use Foul Play and used an opponent's GX attack, would it count as using Foul Play or count as using the Zorak player's GX attack for the match? Uh, the official ruling is it counts as both. It counts as the GX attack. Fun fact, if you use Foul Play to copy Foul Play, we reserve the right to tow your car and steal your shoes. What's the point? The universe has already exploded at that point. The point would be to create a black hole and suck everything in it and destroy the world before people who dislike Pokemon get to it first. D depends. Did you play Ranger first? Well, in, just in case you didn't know, you can simply open only Ultra Rares from sealed booster boxes, Sun and Moon. Hope Pokemon TCG will fix this with next print and don't do this and scam kids at your town or local league. 17 hours, zero likes, zero comments. Looking to build a new deck, any suggestions? Literally just read. Oh, this is good. Um, loving that they kind of put Talonflame into a support card. Is this a 4 of in more, most decks? Or is the fact that they go to the top not worth it? So this is... Mallow? Mallow. So Mallow, um, just like the old Oracle. Uh, choose two cards from your deck and shuffle the rest of your deck. Put the put the chosen cards on top of your deck in any order. Uh, one supporter per turn. So you could play that with Shaman. You could play that with Unknown. You could play that with Octillery. You could play that with Oranguru. You could <laughs> you could play that with Reserved Ticket. You could play that with Trainer's Mail. You could play that with Acrobike. Sounds good. <laughs> Me the rest of the day. <laughs> Can you have more than 60 cards in a deck? Never actually thought about it. <laughs> no. Only at certain tournaments. Oh. That's bait. <laughs> Taylor just had a great insight. He said Pokemon should have an Elder Division because Masters goes from 15 up. He said Elders should be 34 up. I say 30 and up. Thoughts? I I, th I think 40 and up, that would be great. Next. Hey guys, I'm going to give you a live update from Anaheim Regional Championships. I have the pleasure to introduce an amazing guy, Rahul Reddy, that are going to film, give us live updates, deck profiles, and interview with players on Snapchat. That sounds good. Hashtag Pokemon Mental. First time doing something like this, but I hope you like it, and I'm sure Rahul will do a great job. So follow my Snapchat for the first live coverage that ever been made at a Pokemon tournament on Snapchat. Wow. This will be the new... Beep. Guys, I'm so excited to get this become the hugest and best thing to do for the Pokemon community. I will film myself in Sheffield and in Australia. Wow, that's a contrast. Uh, so you should definitely download it. What happened? Sick enjoyed those four snaps. Oh, this is going to give me a headache. Uh, quick ruling question. I have recently started testing my deck with Bursting Billions and I need clarity on a ruling. Uh, I am playing Umbreon GX and my opponent is playing Evertile EX. I have 10 HP left and they have 40 HP left. I have a Bursting Billion attached and they attack me. We both have two prizes remaining. I assume my opponent wins the game because they take their prizes first, but I want it to be 100%. So, uh, no... Uh, oh, happy birthday, Scott. Um... So, right, okay, so, both have two prizes remaining, I have n nothing left, so yeah, does anybody have bench Pokemon? Um, Alright, okay, so, yeah, what happens, you complete the whole attack, and everything is triggered because of an attack before you check if either player won. If you take your pri last prize cards during the same attack, you both have one win condition. Okay, so they both have one win condition. Uh... If either player has no Pokemon in play after removing the KO'd Pokemon, their opponent would have one more win condition. Okay, yeah, because you get your prizes and you bench. Um, bench your opponent out. The player with the most win conditions will wins the game. If you have the same, you go to sudden death. Oh, thank goodness someone's figured that one out. Any stream for Anaheim on any or any other regional? Uh, I really missed the stream uh, from Anaheim. I would have loved to have seen uh, a stream from Anaheim. We needed a stream from Anaheim. 
I'm being honest, felt a bit underwhelming compared to my expectations so far. Maybe I just haven't discovered the right formula for it yet, but I suspect it's also likely that 90-30 isn't as impactful as when Dark Ride debuted. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I, I wish, I wish it was a bit more effective. It is, it, it is underwhelming. Uh, so this is a deck request. Uh, things to keep in mind. It's for my seven-year-old daughter. Okay. Uh, shuffling is difficult for a kid, so I avoided it as much as possible. That's no N. Um, what, well, one of the things that I would recommend is getting to shuffle half and half and then combine it all together. Um, I, I think, I think, make sure that they play the N. I swear Scissor can't get any breaks yet, lol. <laughs> totally agree. But I, I mean, better thought for uh, Skarmory EX. Okay, this is an interesting one. Uh, ruling question. I have Volcanion EX in hand and N also in hand. I play down the N accidentally so that it is on bench and clearly say Volcanion EX. I then proceed to attach an energy to my active and play down the Volcanion EX and I say N. Would I have... To oh, gosh. Would I have to put the Volcanion EX and energy into deck or would I be allowed to leave them on the field as if it was just an error? Also, would it be a prize penalty or would it just pass if there was a ruling involved? Right, okay, well, um, if you play down the N accidentally so it's on the bench and clearly say Volcanion EX. Um, <laughs> that's pretty idiotic. Uh, <laughs> then proceed to attach an energy to my active and play down the Volcanion EX and say N. Um, oh gosh. Please for the love of God, never shuffle cards into your deck until your opponent who laid the card does so first. That's definitely, definitely worth a light. As soon as you lay down a card, it is played no matter what you announce. Um, yeah, if it was a league, I'll let you, you take back. If it was a special event, oh, that would be a disaster, wouldn't it? Yeah, if it was unintentional, just let me, let, let me take it back. Oh, oh, wow. It's actually a real game. Uh, oh, okay. Um, benching the Volcano was extremely relevant in the game outcome, to the game outcome. If it was less important misplay, I would have let it slide. So you're like, I don't mind letting my opponent take back misplays if I'm still going to win that <laughs> noble. <laughs> Look, accidents happen, you know? In the spirit of the game, really. I agree with that. Hmm. See, if the theories about N being a Zorak are actually fact, then that means that N could actually be disguising himself as a Volcanion, meaning he'd get the ability and everything, and a Volcanion attempting to become N makes a cloud of steam thick enough to confuse you and your opponent into shuffling your hands into your decks and drawing cards equal to your prizes. How creative. Okay, this is really useful. Uh, so we can see uh, top 32 decks from Anaheim. Uh, Turbo Dark Rye right at the top. Vesperquin Herdier. Her Herdier. Vesperquin Herdier. That's a surprise. Uh, Ivasal Garbazors. We've got Laurentis Solgalio. That's a surprise up there as well. Another Herdier. We've got Vesperquin Zorak Bees. So out of top 16. Three, four, five are Vesperquins. And how many are Volcanians? One, two, two Volcanians. And what seems to be happening is the Dark Rise seem to be up there. And also the Mega Mewtwo's. And we've got a Rayquaza doing really well as well. There is one item lock Decidui, Taurus, Lugia, Valpo. Well done, John. Oh, well done, Jose Marrero with um, Gyarados there. Espeon GX. Now with Mail. Oh my gosh, why? I, I can't unsee that now. <laughs> What's the deck variation like at Anaheim right now? <laughs> Herdia. What does Herdia do? Yeah, treasure hunt. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during the turn, you may put an item card from your discard pile into your hand. Wingardium Wardiola. 